understand it, Lojo. There ain't no ram tracks or that water. Looks to me like he's just walking around and around the circle. Yeah, we're just not having any luck. so I can bust you one. Well, I find out what's ailing you. I can spoil a perfect shot I had at him. Yeah. At who? That old big horn we've been tracking. Well, Joe, you sure this high altitude ain't got you a little, little lightheaded? I just saw him. Where? Up there where we just come from. <laughs> Look, are you laughing at me? Not at you, little Joe, at us. We've been chasing that old big horn for two weeks, and this is the first time we laid eyes on him. You know why? Because all that time, he's been tracking us. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we got to get back and get out of here. Can't we stay up just one more day? Well, you can if you want to, little Joe. I'll come up next spring and dig your froze carcass out of this snow. All right, we'll start packing out tomorrow. Yeah, well, you get real busy now and round up some grub for your big brother before I fade plumb away. Okay, beans and bacon coming up. My ears stop popping. Check that thieving Indian over there. Well, there's last of our supplies and what little ammunition we had left. Hey, Hoss, come here. Look at this. Shoshone, isn't she? Well, yeah, that's, that's a Shoshone headband she's got on. Yeah, she's cold. I'll make her some coffee. She didn't get hit by one of them stray bullets, did she? No, she, she ain't been hit. Yeah, well, this coffee will fix her up. Never mind. What do you mean, never mind? What's wrong with her? Little Joe? This squaw's gonna have a baby, and soon.
you find them? No, not a sign. I went clear to the top of that peak. I could see for miles. There's nothing. I just don't understand it, little Joe. Young girl in her condition to try to stick close to her tribe. Unless, of course, uh, she gets lost and they just run off and leave her or something. No, she's not lost, Hoss. How could you tell? By the deer trail she took. Every time they branched off, she took the one either south or east. She knew where she was going. Southeast? Well, that'd take her right into Piute country, wouldn't it? And yeah, maybe her tribe was looking for a few scalps. No, wasn't no raiding party. Shoshone is too smart for that. Mm. They wouldn't want to get caught this side of the mountains with big snow just on its way. Now, where was she heading, then? What else is southeast of here? The only thing I can think of is Virginia City. Virginia City? <laughs> well, her fever's down some, anyhow. Yeah, she looks better to me. Yeah. There's one thing for certain, though. The time's near, and she's going to be needing a woman to help with the birthing. You sure you didn't see nothing of them, little Joe? No smoke, no tracks, no nothing? No, nothing. Well, they're going to be able to find us, though, if we're west of Kansas City. All they got to do is follow their smellers. I reckon you're referring to my cooking. I'm referring to that stink you're making. What is it? Them's wild roots and mesquite beans. Mesquite beans? Yep. That's cattle fodder. Yep. It's going to be your dinner, though, little Joe. And as a matter of fact, you're liable to be living on this till we get out of here. Oh, no. Mm -mm. I'm going to go shoot me some game. Oh, no, you ain't. We got to save what ammunition we got left for an emergency. Oh, look, horse, we can't, we can't eat cattle fodder. You eat beefsteak, don't you? Well, well, sure. What's that got to do with it? Well, it'll just make you appreciate what an old steer goes through for you. Here, eat hearty, little brother. Do I have to? No, no, you don't have to. You can starve to death. You know, it's kind of sweet, you know? Sure. You felt like you getting used to that smell. Hey, she's coming to get some water quick. Huh? You're spilling it. All right, just hold the cup still. Here, now, I want you to drink some of this. It'll be good for you. Ma'am, ain't nobody gonna hurt you. Go on, man. You drink some of this. That's the way. That's the way. Her pulse is stronger. I think she understood you? Well, if she didn't, little brother, we're in a pick of trouble. My name is Joe Cartwright. This is my brother, Hoss. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. We're from Virginia City. That's where you were heading, wasn't it? Where is your tribe? Ma'am, you, you better tell us. You're going to be needing some help, and, and quick. Ain't no use. She don't understand nothing. No, I won't. Here, help me get her straightened up here so she can eat. Yeah. Come on, man. Good Indian food. Good. Eat. I can't say as I blame her. You keep your smart talk to yourself, little brother. In case you know it or not, we, we got a peck of grief on our hands here. This is good food. It's Indian food. It'll make you strong again. Now, I ain't gonna take no nonsense. You come on here and, and eat for your baby.
minutes away. Take it sort of easy at first. Kind of let you insides get used to the idea. That's way. See the way her eyes lit up when you mentioned her baby? She understood every word you were saying. I don't know. Any female carrying a young just naturally knows what's expected. Yeah, well, she must know her time is near. She knows. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's get her to a doctor or a midwife or somebody before it's too late. It's already too late, little Joe. That girl will die if we try to move her down this mountain. Now, that's what's been spooking me all along. How do you know she'll die? You ain't no doctor. You said so yourself. Well, I know that much about females. Yeah, horses are cows, maybe. You don't know nothing about women females. I know less than nothing. But we're gonna have to learn, little brother. There must be some other way. Yeah. Yeah, we... We could just leave her up here. Yeah, maybe, maybe her people will find her. Maybe. Well, anyway, it's not our responsibility. We didn't ask her to get landed up with us. No, we sure didn't. Probably bungled the job anyway. Yeah. Horse? Huh? You ever seen a baby birthed? You know I ain't. How soon do you think it'll be? I don't know. Maybe today, or tomorrow, maybe next week. I don't know. We just better pray the snow holds off. Yeah. Oh, no, you ain't. We gotta save what ammunition we got left for an emergency. I ain't gonna save nothing. Little Joe! Oh, doggone! Thought I told you to save that ammunition. Well, you tell that stupid nanny goat to stop grinning at me. Little brother. You sure you ain't just a little bit sun-touched? You, you ought not to come out of camp without your hat on, little Joe. I ain't sun-touched. I'm hungry. I spent a whole day picking these stinking mesquite beans. Look what I got to show for it. Well, you ought to pick the bushel basket by now. Dad gummit, if I got to do everything. You forget it. These bushes have been stripped clean. There was a whole herd of mule deer come through here last night. There's tracks everywhere. Blast it. See if we ain't got enough grief. Well, come on back into camp. I need you to help me with that gal. Well, she, she ain't, she ain't no, gonna... no, it ain't what you think. No such luck. Come on. Yeah, hey, dog, call you. Hey, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Why don't you ever make one of those for me? Well, the next time you're expecting, you just let me know. Get some of them sticks over there. Are these? Yeah. What are the stakes for? These are for the tug on as soon as their labor starts. Here, drive one in over there at arm's length. Ma'am, I sure hope you know you got yourself mixed up with a couple of prune pickers. Well, we don't know about delivering babies. It'd scare you to death. Fetch that shovel over there. Yeah, now, dig a pit right there deep enough to hold a batch of hot coals. Oh, can't we heat the water outside? Well, we're going to, but this is to steam some sage leaves. Sage leaves? What good's that going to do? Well, how should I know? What do you mean, how should you know? What are we going to do it for, then? 
Well, I heard an Indian agent telling Paul one time that this is what all Shoshone women always did. Now, what else did they tell you? Well, then we got to get some rabbit pelts to swaddle the baby in as soon as it gets here. Mm-hmm. Now, what then? Then we got to find a, find an old cottonwood tree someplace. Oh, we got to find an old cottonwood tree? Yeah, one with a, with a dry rod. Well, we got to find an old cottonwood tree. He's got the dry rod. Yeah, so as we can scoop out that dry rot and pulverize it up real fine, like. When we scoop out some of that dry rot and pulverize it up real fine. But we don't know why we're doing that either, do we? Yeah, for baby powder. Youngin's got to have baby powder, ain't he? Oh, no, no. You can't even have a baby without baby powder. Where are you going? I know there's an old cottonwood tree down by the lake. I'm going to get us some baby powder makings. Get me one of them. Save your ammunition. You willing to get wet for your supper? I just as soon die in ammonia and starvation. All right, you go rustle us up some branches and make it snappy. Be quiet about it. There ain't nothing as skittery as a wild duck. Okay. <laughs> Sure didn't get much down. I told you not to put those pine nuts in her soup. Pine nuts are nourishing. Well, so's duck. Well, she ain't hardly got enough strength to swallow soup. I don't know what she'd do with that roast duck. Well, I'm gonna give her lessons right now. Hey, Hoss? Yeah? How far do you think she'd come before she ran into us? Shoshone Nation's 200 miles north of here. Remember she was traveling with her husband, he had an accident or something. It ain't that simple. For some reason or other, that girl had to get into Virginia City. I don't think we're gonna find out till she gets good and ready to tell us. Here. Some duck. Tomorrow we'll set some rabbit snares.
Yep. That lake was frozen over this morning. I saw a herd of deer going down through the pass. It's kind of surprising that she don't take the hint, ain't it? Ah, why should she? She's got it made. She's got a nice room, plenty of food. Two dumb clucks to wait on her hand and foot. Ah, she's in no hurry. Dang near kill me of that stinking thing. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. You look like a, look like a hog that's stuck with a porcupine quill. <laughs> hey. Hey, the Sphinx has a sense of humor. Talking, get that sage. Get the sage. Where's the sage? What sage? The sage I told you to get for the steamer. You told me you were going to get the sage. Me? Have I got to get everything? Well, I'm tired of you yelling at me. You want sage? Just tell me. I'll get it. Oh, no. You, you, you get that ball in water and follow me in there with it. You hear? Get it. Well, we should make you... We should make up your mind. Sage in there, boiling water. I don't know nothing about having babies. Here's the water, horse. Put it right there. You scared? Yeah, but I don't reckon, reckon half as much as she is. Put down those windbreakers. You never seen a baby before? Here. Here, take, take him over there by the fire. Now, hold him easy and keep your hand on his back so his yeah. little head don't fall down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah be careful. Don't stumble over them big feet of yours. better than I do. Please tell me. How come you held out on us? Is she, is she perfect? Your baby's perfect. She's as pretty as a brand new penny. <laughs> Only she ain't a she. He's a he. What's the matter? I thought, I thought all Shoshone women made big medicine to their gods so they'd have nothing but boy babies. You get some rest. You're gonna have a lot of explaining to do. Hey, Austin. Yeah. Did you take a good look at this baby? What'd you do to him? He's all right when I gave him to you. I didn't do nothing to him. Look at him, he's got blue eyes. <laughs> Ain't no Indian baby ever had blue eyes. This boy's father's a white man. Like we eat 
fish again tonight. The rabbit snares are all empty. Yeah, well, the fish trap's empty, too. What are we gonna do now? I don't know. Did you notice the sky today? As clear as a crystal glass. Complaining? I can smell the snow piling up there for almost a week. We got a reprieve. Listen. I don't hear anything. No birds. No wind, no nothing. Yeah, come to think of it, I haven't heard anything all day. Didn't see that old bighorn either. Not a living thing. Paul says that wild animals always know when a big storm's due. Look, we gotta get down off this mountain and quick. Yeah, well, maybe tomorrow. Have to see about the girl first. Well, by all means, let's give the lady every consideration. Doesn't make any difference she won't tell us her name. Now, let's be gentlemen and cartwrights to the bitter end. Oh, little Joe, this has been worrying you like a hound dog with a burr in his rump. Forget it. I reckon she's got her reasons for keeping quiet. Hey, well, I'm gonna find out her reasons and everything else about her before she gets us in any deeper. Well, how you figuring on doing that? Well, you just watch me. Oh, don't stop on account of us. Personally, I'd like to hear something besides my brother's yakking. Leave her alone, little Joe. You know, horse says you talk better than he does. I ain't much to crow about, but I, I'd certainly like to hear a sample. Your name, maybe. You know, we've been pretty decent to you. I think we're entitled to know a little bit more about you. For instance, why were you going to Virginia City? Oh, little Joe, quit jawing at her. If she don't want to talk to us, I, I reckon it's her business. Yeah, well, it seems to me she's made us part of her business. If I'm going to get my scalp lifted for a runaway Shoshone, I think I'd die a lot easier if I knew some of the details. What makes you think she's a runaway? Oh, look at her face. You're going to tell me she's not a runaway? Where did you get this? Not far from camp. You didn't tell me about it? I just want to see the look on her face first. Could have been dropped last month or, or even last year. Yeah, last night. See any other signs? No. no could, have been, could have been lost by a scout on his way back to get the rest of the party. And look, don't try to try to make me feel like a louse either. I had to find something out, and I found it out. That's all. We didn't do no such a thing. That's a war medicine bag. It's forbidden for a Shoshone woman to even lay eyes on it. No wonder the poor little old thing's half scared to death. Where are you going? I'm going up on that mountainside and take a look around. Sort of a mean trick. I didn't know about the taboo. I guess you have your reasons for not wanting to answer our questions. Just it gets a doggone aggravating.
Relax, it's us. Get the pack horse, we're leaving. Shoshones? No, it's a blizzard. It's forming over there behind that ridge to the north. And I tried to tell you. Make it snappy. We gotta get out of here and through that pass before the storm hits. Last couple of miles, I could swear we were being watched. Uh, I think it's that gal, Luther. Well, she's got me spooked, too. Yeah, I think she senses something. Well, that medicine bag could have been a fresh sign after all. Maybe, but right now, it's what's up there that's got me worried. Yeah. How far do you think it is to the pass? I don't know, but about two or three miles, I reckon. Yeah, we'll never make it before dark. Well, we'll have to make it after dark, then. I want you going ahead. I want to backtrack and have a look around. My baby! My baby! Here, just take it easy. I'll get the baby. Whoa, Nip. Your baby's all right. It's okay. I think we better, we better rest here for a while. No sign of him. Had him there a week overdue. I never knew him would get home yet on time. Surely Hoss would have enough sense to know this is a storm sky. Something's happened to them. Let's keep going. She said you're going on. Shh. Wake her up. She's too tired to go on. You know, it makes two of us. <clears throat> you see anything? No. I think there's something else out there besides my imagination. I can't shake the feeling that they're out there watching us. Just waiting. Yeah, but waiting for what? We're just two guns against a whole Shoshone war party? Well, we wouldn't stand a chance. If they're really out there, why don't they show themselves? I think she could tell us. All right. If it'll make you any happier, I'll stand and watch tonight. Now, go and eat your supper. <coughs> Just what I wanted, mesquite beans. And wild roots. Ross, would you do me a favor? What? Please don't ask me to go hunting with you again. Following us. What do you think they're waiting for? I don't know. But I ain't planning on sitting here and waiting to find out. Wake that girl up and let's get out of here. Yeah. Horse. Or some guard you turn out to be. Wait a minute. There ain't no Indian war party that stuff these blankets just to fool us. For some reason or other, that gal was afraid I'd wake up and catch her gone. You know, it still doesn't explain this knife or those tracks. Must have been a half a dozen Shoshones in here last night. Yeah. She must have known they were tracking us, too. If 
For some reason or other, little Joe, that gal didn't want them Indians to catch her. That knife was a warning not to interfere. Well, we're going to interfere. Let's go. <laughs> I guess you've been worrying about us, huh, Paul? Paul, we can, we can explain everything. We was gonna start down on time, but... I guess we better show him, Paul, see? He ain't gonna believe us otherwise. Come on. I'd hoped you boys had more sense than that. Well, Paul, after all we'd been through with it, we, we couldn't just walk off and leave her up there. We just naturally brought her and that young at home with us. Is that all? Hey, well, Pa, you act like we did something wrong. Coming between a Shoshone woman and a people is not something wrong. It's just plain stupidity. Yeah, I thought you boys went up there to hunt big horn sheep. Oh, Adam, this is a serious matter. Well, it's a fine homecoming. That's all I got to say. The next time you bring baby home, you bring laundry boy. Hapsing got no time for washing diaper. She, Doctor. Very weak. The surprising thing is how the baby came through it without a sniffle. Well, now, that ain't too surprising. Doc seems who brought him into the world. Yeah, well, he had some help, too. Yeah, about as much help as a sore throat. <laughs> My boys don't seem to realize the seriousness of the situation. They don't know who the girl is or why the tribe went to so much trouble trying to recapture her. The baby's father is undoubtedly a white man, Ben. That might explain why she's running away from her family. But why they would risk the lives of four braves for one child. Well, there's nothing more I can do here, Ben. I'll send out a wet nurse for the baby. Thank you, Doctor. Baby. Be careful. Don't you worry.
girl. Do you hear me? I've sent for the doctor again. Before he gets here, I want you to tell me who your child's father is. You were coming to find him, weren't you? He should be here with you. You tell me and I'll send for him. You got no sense, you people? What for you wake up house so late? Tell Mr. Cartwright that Sumner Kyle is here. Yes, sir, Mr. Kyle. You got maybe any particular Mr. Cartwright in mind? Ben Cartwright, of course. Oh, Kyle. Hello, Cartwright. I hope you'll forgive me for coming unannounced. You know Jason, of course. Of course. Uh, my son Adam told me you'd return to Virginia City. Is there something I can do for you? May we speak in private, please? Hop Singh, it's getting pretty late. Why don't you uh, go to bed? Well, uh, make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Cartwright, I have a favor to ask. And this time, I won't insult you by offering a bribe. Well, you, uh, at least you learned that much from our last meeting. Yes, we have had our differences, but they were business conflicts, never personal. Not as far as I'm concerned. I've always had great admiration for you. Kyle, uh, you didn't come here at this time of night to eulogize me, so why don't we uh, get to the point? I understand you have an Indian girl here and a child. That's right. Well, Cartwright, my son Jason is the father of that child. Cartwright, you have sons. You must know how I felt when I learned that Jason was involved with this Shoshone girl. We were married. Yes, yes, an Indian ceremony. Hardly a binding agreement. I don't quite agree, Kyle, but Jason, you must have been in love with the girl or else you wouldn't have married her. I was and still am. She knew it. That's why she tried to come to me. Well, why did you desert her? Tell him, Father. I believe I'm the proper judge of what is best for my son. He's right. He's right as usual. It was impossible from the very start. What could I offer her didn't belong to him? Including myself. Cartwright, I want you to send the girl and the child back to her people. I'm ready to pay well for her silence. Carl, you, you needn't worry too much about the girl. I doubt very much whether she would embarrass you. She's never mentioned the name of the child's father. Do you mean you didn't know? No, I didn't know. Obviously, she was too much in love with your son to want to cause him any trouble even though he did desert her. Where is she? Upstairs. Wait a minute, Jason. Jason, she's dead. Had it all your own way. Leave them alone now. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. 
He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. 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 Cartwright, I want my son. Now, Red Whip is an old man. His only child lies there. But his bloodline continues in your son. Nothing will stop him from taking that boy. Mr. Cartwright, may I have the boy? Tell my father, I've gone home. <laughs> 